everybody, it's Aaron from Halet coming to you from Brown County State Park in Southern Indiana and I'm doing a product review. What am I reviewing? It's a fantastic question. I'm reviewing this 12 volt refrigerator in this Wildwood 22 RBS because Wildwood has gone exclusively to 12 volt refrigerators and as a longtime camper and a salesman, I want to know how it works. So when I'm talking to my customers, you get a lot of questions about it. And quite honestly, it's so new, I don't have the answers. So I decided to bring this rig out on a demo for the weekend on a little family camping trip and uh, try it out and see what, uh, what happens. Um, I've been really impressed with it. There's no other way to put it. It's been fantastic. So when I picked up the camper from work, I put a, a, a 12 volt deep cycle marine battery on the front turned the refrigerator on. By the time I got home, it had been about three hours and that thing was cold and ready to go. So the wife and I loaded it up immediately. I don't know the exact temperature. Normally I have a small little refrigerator temp uh, thermometer that I keep, uh, but it's in my personal camper and I did not bring it home to put it in here. I should have, I didn't, I apologize. Um, but it was, it was ready to go. Um, so we loaded it up. Came out here to Brown County to a big family campground, uh, to a big family camping event that we do every year. And uh, I, I've been incredibly impressed with it. So Wildwood puts this sticker right here on the front, uh, just in case you're wondering. So we are at 10.7 cubic feet of refrigerator capacity with this thing. Now I'm going to show you what's inside. Please don't judge me. We were in charge of cooking breakfast this morning, so there was a lot of eggs and bacon and things like that for breakfast, mash, or uh, hash browns, things like that, and uh, we've eaten them all, so there's not a whole lot of food in here right now. Um, but I wanted to you know, use this for a couple days and see how it works out. So as you can see, we've got all of this space, 10.7 cubic feet of space, including small produce drawer down here we're able to control our humidity right like that i mean just incredibly deep we control our uh, temperature right here in the refrigerator it's just a simple push button lots and lots of space let's go up to the freezer part open that up and as you can see lots of capacity in here as well um, what I did is I, I put these two bags of ice in here immediately uh, when we got home just because I wanted to see if they melted, see what happened, and I've had no issues at all. As you can see, the ice is perfectly fine, no issues with that. Back here is our controller for our freezer temp. I'm just keeping them both at the coldest setting. Why not? Um, close the door, and then you see you have this little latch right here. This is what's going to keep your doors shut while you are in transit. Um, I've been super duper impressed with it. Uh, no issues. It's worked fantastic. I've really, really, really liked it. So some of you are gonna wonder why are companies like Wildwood going exclusively to this 12 volt refrigerator? I mean, they're really pushing all their chips to the middle of the table. Um, and now that I've used it, I understand it. We're more efficient. We're getting better size, better capacity. Um, we're legal in all 50 states going down the highway. Some states it's illegal to have your refrigerator running on propane to have that open flame while you're going down the highway. Some states it's not, but some states it is. With these 12 volt refrigerators, you're legal in every single state going down the highway. Um, the way they work is, is very simple. It's connected to your battery on the front, so it's getting all of its juice from your battery. Right now I'm plugged in at the, at the site that I'm at. So the power is coming through the plug into my converter box and the converter box is charging the battery. Meanwhile, the battery is being depleted from the refrigerator. So we have, you know, a constant charge going in there and maintaining it at hundred percent. According to my monitor over there, the battery is not dipped down below hundred percent and that's because we're plugged in. Um, it's worked really, really great. I'm super impressed with it. Um, I, I didn't know what to expect, so I kind of came into this with an open mind, and uh, I'm a believer. I'm truly a believer on how it works. It works really, really good. Um, the one 
one issue that I could possibly see you would have with this is if you're dry camping somewhere and you don't have some sort of power source that's going to replenish your battery, that could be an issue. So what we did at Halet is any camper that has a solar package available with the 12 volt refrigerator, we got the solar package. Um, what that's gonna allow you to do is now you can dry camp, you can parking lot camp, you can mooch dock, you can do whatever it is you wanna call it where you don't have power because that solar panel is gonna be replenishing your battery as the refrigerator takes, you know, kind of takes some juice out of it. So we've done that here at Halitz. Um, I think it's gonna work out fantastic. I'm really excited at some of the changes that the RV industry is finally making. Um, some of it's a little overdue, um, but they're doing a good job. We're really making some good progress in the industry. So if you have any other questions about anything else, feel free to email us, contact us through Facebook or YouTube. Maybe we'll do a review on some stuff that, uh, that you guys are interested in and like, hey, how does this work? I wanna know more about this before I spend, you know, 20, 30, $40,000 on a camper. Um, we'd be more than happy to help you out. Um, but in the meantime, uh, enjoy all of our content. There's going to be more of this type of stuff coming to you. Um, I'm also in a Wildwood 22 RBS. Uh, Josh has done a great product uh, review on it. I'm actually going to do a quick review on what's it like to actually use it. Uh, I've been in it for a couple of days here. And uh, we'll link the uh, that video to in the description of this one. So if you want to know more about this particular camper, as a nice little couples camper, um, you know we'll have a we'll have a review available for you on that. In the meantime, if there's anything you need as far as trucks, camping, hitching, uh, just general questions, please feel free to contact us at Halitz 1-800-256-5196. Conveniently located in Coldwater, Michigan. Thanks for watching and more to come.